Zach was at the Aganis Shopping Center today doing the meet and greet event. Banner drafted by the Colts in the fourth round, 137th overall, plays offensive tackle. The former USC Trojan stands 6'8", 353 pounds, and always reps the Guam flag before and after games. He's home and will be giving back to the island's youth football players tomorrow at Guam High from 10 to 2 in the afternoon. We're going to learn a lot. I'm going to talk a lot about the importance of education, leadership, and things like that, that qualities that will help you in life on and on the field. Uh, we plan on getting a lot of work done tomorrow, and it'll just kind of be the beginning. That's why we want all ages. Uh, it can be the youth, it can be middle-aged adults, senior citizens, kind of. And then uh, we're just going to take care of business, have a good time tomorrow. GYBA basketball from the Guam Sports Complex gym. Yellow Jackets and the ASC Islanders balling up. John Lorena with some moves in the paint for the Yellow Jackets. Jan goes in with the assist from JV and Cruz, goes baseline, turn around one-handed shot with the hand in his face, Drops for two. Low scoring game after one quarter. Battle on the boards. Loose ball picked up by Gozum. Stolen by Kobe Santos. Chris Morcani with a quick shot in the lane. All net. Nick Paracha led the Islanders with six points. Yellow Jackets get the W though. 41 to 29. Chris Morick, nine points in the win. In other games, U16 Boys Division. The Crusaders, 50 to 34 over Team STC Pink. Mario Cepeda with a game-high 18 for the Crusaders. Westbrook Conception, 14 in his team's losing effort. U18 Boys Division Crusaders double up on Team STC Pink, 60-30. Kobe Sotelo led the way in the win with 13 points. Devin Barreto put up 13 in the loss for Team STC Pink. Now for some baseball results from the Leo Palace Field, the Guam Amateur Summer Woodbat League. The Rays got the win over the Rooks 10-0. Eighth and Guitar had a no-hitter through seven innings and settled for the one-hitter in the win. Blue Jays 13-12 winners over Coast Rise Speedos. The Blue Jays' Derek Nogue singled home Pete Gray in the bottom of the eighth inning for the 13-12 walk-off win. The Auto Spot Cannons got the win over the Talafofa Rangers 7-4. Matt Munoz was 2-3 for three at the plate with a run and an RBI. Randy Alcantara finished 2-4 for four with three RBIs. And the Barragata Crusaders got the big win over the Rooks, 23-4. Five-inning mercy rule, Javen Delgado, two earned runs over five innings as the Crusaders win in their season opener. Team Guam's 11-13-year-old All-Stars putting in some work on the diamond in Korea. Guam beat Saudi Arabia 10-2 in their opener and followed up with another win over Thailand, 11-7. Guam then fell to Hong Kong in their third game, 5-3 and dropped a close game to the CNMI 4-3. Team Guam is now 2-2 two two in pool play in the Little League World Series Asia Pacific and Middle East Regional Tournament in South Korea. Guam will next face Korea. Hong Kong will play Taipei. Winners move on to the championship game.